Yeah, that was that last match we just played was the fifth match in that league, so we were all done with the uh, the weird grinding station deck. Ban and restricted went as expected. Extremely disappointing. Stream decker, yep. Yeah. He went three and two at the grind station deck. It was confirmed to be a modern deck. Dan seems fine. Is that the starter deck, Tefri? Of course it's the starter deck, Tefri. This is this is Tefri Tribal Chat. Why wouldn't it be the starter deck, Tefri? Sent him on a path. Jeffrey's mode is absurd here. It's actually a card they could just like never beat. Are we about to get bushwhackered? I think we're about to get bushwhackered, chat. Kick it, C. Check, check, check it, C. Wreck, wreck, wreck it, C. Nice 3 2 with the janky deck that I'm playing. Surprised you with. Me too, Zach. Me too. I am also surprised at the number of matches we won. All right, things are going as expected. Two obstinate balloths. Uh, uh, I don't really have a good play in here, chat, believe it or not. Believe it or not, I don't have a good play in here. Click blocks, I guess. Okie doke. Now, I think Damping Sphere on average is not good enough in this matchup. Yep, yeah, this is, this is game, match one, game two, Justin. We have like some reasonable modern cards in our deck. We expect, yeah, I wasn't sure how long this league was gonna last, which is why I said I wasn't sure if I was going to do uh, ten, uh, two or three leagues before the arena segment. Uh, this guy gives trample anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and get my land here. Every card you've cast so far has been at a GP winning deck. We are. We have a sponsored arena segment coming up later today. I'm all about chasing them dollars. So if you want to support my content, make sure you hang out through the arena segment. Jeff loves doing things for money, Mick Burr. What do you mean? What did you do to Jeff? The candy man will stop the goblins. Here's, here's hoping.
It is it is a Wizards of the Coast sponsored Magic Arena session. I think four pack rats in rock is too many Phoenix lands, but I think a non-zero amount of pack rats is probably decent. So Wizards didn't directly Wizards didn't directly sponsor my stuff. They sponsored it through Twitch. So Twitch has a program. Are we dead? I assume we're dead. So Wizards didn't come to me directly. Do you get a good amount of viewers? Do you think they may reach out to you or is it like it's a bounty thing through Twitch? Rekindled soul. Thanks for all the content. Have a day off. Nothing better than some drinking in Hoaglandia. Thank you for the six months. I appreciate the half a year. All right. While we're waiting for this next matchup, up, I'd like to shill for some of the regular people we shill for. Thanks for hanging out, folks. I appreciate it. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm here full time. We play a ton of modern. If you enjoy my stuff, please consider doing like Rekindled Soul just did there and subscribe to my channel. I do this because I love it, but my subscribers are the people that keep me here day in and day out. I wouldn't be employed without their very wonderful support. Past that, you can support my stuff by supporting some of my very wonderful sponsors. MTGOTraders.com. I love to buy and sell some magic online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. Honey is a free browser add-on that when you install it using link bit.ly forward slash Google Honey, you'll be supporting my content here at absolutely no cost to yourself. Finally beat him, Rad Life. It only took you playing goblins. You put us firmly in the ground. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Uh, Honey is a free browser add-on that when you're shopping online, it takes a look at stuff you've thrown in your shopping cart and searches automatically to see if it can find you some coupon codes. If it can save you some money, it offers to do so. And if it can't, it leaves you completely alone. Lisa would like to get you on your way to a better night's sleep. Christy and I have been sleeping with Lisa for the last two months now and we really enjoy it. I don't think we'd ever go back to a traditional pillow top mattress. You can save $160 or more on your new foam mattress by checking out links bit.ly forward slash hugelbed US and bit.ly forward slash hugelbed CA. And of course, we'd like to welcome everyone out there to Hooglandia. Please talk to your friendly neighborhood moderator about receiving your complimentary timeout. Your, uh... We're down a match against goblins with our Tefri tribal deck here. Bad bant control, as you'd like to, as we'd like to call it. Hopefully, hopefully we can get down into the mid-range bracket and slog it out there a little bit. We're gonna play this, I think. We're gonna play some blue black heartless uh, deep fiends, and then and then we're gonna do our sponsored arena segment. That's 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 part of the reason I took it too, Lost Lurk. If I was like, well, if this is just an open bounty, I feel like me taking this will be good. Yep, Knowledge Pool is just for the Tefri Lock. All right, BMOP mid-range deck. BMOP mid-range deck. BMOP mid-range deck. Not quite sure what a Twitch bounty is. So Twitch has a system set up where partnered streamers can accept money from companies to stream their games in a sponsored segment. And it's called a, they call it a bounty board. So Wizards of the Coast put their, put Arena on this bounty board. If you notice, there's been a lot of sponsored Arena streams recently. Drew, thanks for checking out Honey via my link. I appreciate the support. No, Magic Online essentially has no matchmaking. There's essentially no matchmaking in this application. Chat is a mopey mid-range deck. Basically,
Probably think we're playing one of them real decks. Don't you call Tefri terrible. You're going to hurt his feelings. Don't hurt Tefri's feelings. He works really... So, I played the fetch lands here because their opponent is playing a Blood Moon deck. And if they Blood Moon us next turn, I'd like to be able to crack the fetch in response to get a basic land. I am potentially losing out on a clue from Tireless Tracker by sequencing my lands in this way, but I think I'm okay with that. Perfect, Stinger. That's great. God bless you, mods. I love our hardworking mod community. All right, so this one's going to cast. We'll get to go tracker, play breeding pool. I can't wait for Jeff to single-handedly enact... Wizard's policy against open Twitch bodies, right? About Naya Landfall, could a Tarkus Command be useful in the deck? I don't think so. I think a Tarkus Command pushes you too far in an all-in direction, Vita. And one of the reasons why I think the Landfall deck is good is because of the flexibility it has to pivot between different game plans, depending on what's going on. It's grid. Get another island with this. So, what does this do? When it enters a play, each player exiles three cards from the library. When they cast a spell, that player exiles. If they do, they cast another non land card with knowledge pools cost. All right, so I think I'm just going to go Tef free plus here. Yeah, Knowledge Pool plus Creature to free locks your opponent out of playing Magic. Well, I mean, we can attack Chandra. Boros Reckner. All right, so I think I'm knowledge pooling last next turn. Ooh, the time bender. I think I'm just knowledge pooling here. Because if I Knowledge Pool, I get to opt plus Path to Exile to cast two spells off the imprint. Which sounds like a good time. This is, this is just some good clean living. Seriously? S seriously? Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, magic. Oh, magic.
magic. For those wondering what happened there, we didn't exile any spells. Wait, I can cast their spells? Is that how this works? Oh, I didn't realize I could cast their spells. Oh, that's funny. That's great, actually. This card's hilarious. I would like to cast a braid. And destroy Mind Stone. Yeah, and then I can opt in the P into their Pia and Kirindalar. Yay! Magic's fun. Magic's fun. This deck is sweet. We got a Mopey mid-range matchup, chat. This is all we wanted for Christmas was a Mopey mid-range matchup. Why do I need to float blue? If they cast Blood Moon, I just get to... Uh... Now I'm going to cast Opt. Exile my Opt. Cast Pia and Kirin Nalar. This is great. This is great. Welcome to the party. Attack Chandra, attack Chandra, attack you, attack Chandra. All right, so I'm going to cast Search for Tomorrow, which is going to let me cast Mind Stone. <laughs> what a silly game. I didn't realize it. I just assumed you could only cast your own cards. Why would I take Path? I don't care about Path. Yeah, the opponent can use Knowledge Pool as well. It's symmetrical. We both get to use all of it. All right. So negates and disdainful strokes are great here, obviously. Moat is not good. Oust is not good. Uh, Spellcaller is probably bad, honestly. Vendillion clique pressures their planeswalkers better. I'll leave one queller in. Is this the construction of the Thunderdome? Essentially, yes. This is, you are essentially witnessing the construction of a Thunderdome. All right, that that game was worth it. Game games like that are why you play decks like this. It wouldn't be a pool party if you could only cast your own spells. No, Tefri's mode is here as part of the Tefri meme. It's the same reason we have the intro deck Tefri in our deck.
So I can go basic island, basic planes, and then I have double blue too, which is nice. All right, we have the lock. So knowledge pool is here because it's sweet chat, but knowledge pool with this in play means our opponent can't cast spells. My opponent F6 their first turn. Yeah, we just won a game. We just won a game, chat. Come on now. Listen, anybody who's played Magic Online long enough has F6 their first turn at some point. Oh, jeez, chat. They have a way to get out of the lock. They have a way to get out of the lock. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to click myself here. And try and find a land thing. That's true. We might get one of their braids. Rabble Master. Remember that time I just took to Path to Exile chat? I love my click. Don't be mean to my click. Ding. Uh, I think it's just Hero of Dominaria here. Tuck the Rebel Master. I'm going to leave click up. Oh my god, I just clicked the wrong thing. Well, that's a tilt. I mean, if we draw a path, plusing here is absurd, right? They do have to have removal here. So you're saying this is your fault, Dark Goyf. That's what you're that's what you're saying. If they offer this trade, I'm taking it. Yeah, I was just saying, I'm pretty surprised if they, if they offered that trade. Um, remember that time I lost the game because I took my path instead of something else? Pepperidge Farm remembers. The problem, Chad, is the Ratchet Bomb and the Goblin Rabble Master. Like, I need ways to actually, like, interact with their stuff that's going on in play. I'm just going to dig for another path here at this point, I think. Like, you're... The people that want to go for, like, the Knowledge Pool set up already, like, you're, you're playing a portion of the game that, like, we're not in yet. I could tuck the bomb, sure, but then how do I not die to the Rebel Master? This is the 01 bracket. Thank you very much, Frenzied Mage. 
ye, ye of little faith. Sure, Jeffrey blocks, and then I no longer have them locked, and the knowledge pool is a huge liability. So, like, again, playing Magic isn't about just, like, casting a bunch of random cards. It's about having a plan while you're casting those cards. All right, so back today, if Ramble Master means I'm going to leave all these paths in. You thought for sure? No, we actually just had a good run with it. The Grixis deck was sweet. We dismantled the number of creature decks to start the league. Nah, I think Moat's not good enough. I think Moat for just Rabble Master is loose. Just tuned in and looking at the list of decks played gives me a range of emotions for sure. That's what we're going for here, Nyan. We just we're just a we're just a group of people that wants to make sure we feel things at the end of the day. It's all about it's all about the feelings. Yeah, the Heartless Summoning deck should be sweet. I think the plan is to finish this league, play the Heartless deck, and then do the Arena segment. And then play a couple of things after that as well. Uh, yeah, Black Green Eternity uh, potentially got bumped. I might have time for a deck after Cheerios. But Anironix uh, bumped a bunch of random decks last night. Which pushed out uh, the other couple other ones that I had planned. I want to just play this and make a clue here. I could get like something scaried next turn, but working towards hitting a land drop here feels valuable. Is this is this not gonna set the land speed league record? It's gonna come pretty close. Yeah, but again, Rad, that takes time. That takes time. The heaven goal value has my jinx senses tingling. Yeah, the heaven the heaven goal lich heartless summoning deck should be should be a treat. I mean, there's another timeline, Justin, where I pass with the gate up there. They play a fifth land, they play a storm breath dragon, and then we miss our fifth land drop. We look really stupid for not having just played our card. I thought there was a non zero chance they could have cut Blood Moon against us, but I should probably just never assume that people make decisions like that on Magic Online. Like, I have eight, seven basic lands and a bunch of ways to find them, but. Yeah, I played a lot of Heartless Summoning in Standard as well. We did not have a fifth land in our hand, Justin. Uh, 
All right, dear Trot opponent, please kill me swiftly so we can move on to Heartless Summoning. Got a couple damping spheres and four counter spells. Watsy's just excited for the uh Watsy's just excited for the the arena segment that's coming, so they wanted to kill us quickly. So that way we get to it sooner. Watsy just like super excited. Oh, just a car, and that's all. I have a rejection in the board too. Look at that. Look at that. I had a plan for this Toronto opponent. I had a plan, chat. I have a plan. All right, what else am I cutting here? This lock is probably just too slow. We're just gonna try and be like a bad tempo deck here, I think. No, I think Queller's important for attacking them to death. Remember, if you're going to criticize things, you need to be specific and constructive about it. It is welcome... Specific constructive feedback is welcome. Crapping on things just for the sake of crapping on them is not. All right, chat. I've got a disdainful stroke. Can't possibly lose. Can you be vague and sarcastic? I mean, that's the way of the internet, right? Be vague and sarcastic. All right, I'm gonna cast this, which gets an untapped land. Grab another green here, play this colonnade past the turn. So we get to Disdainful Stroke something here, and then next turn we can Tefri untap some lands and like maybe have a shot. Tefri tuck your land. No, Tefri Timebender is unplayable, but I was required to build a deck with him in it, so here we are. Gosh, it would be, it would be, could you imagine if this card could tuck lands? How busted would that be? Oh, I should have left up three green here, right? Because I could have hit a, uh, I could hit a ceremonious rejection off of this. This is match three. If we lose this, we're moving on to Heartless Summoning. All right, didn't hit the rejection, not punished. I'm just here for my complimentary timeout, Average Toaster. Thank you very much for the two months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. All right. On the off chance, the deck with... On the off chance, the 48-card deck full of Demonic Tutors doesn't have another threat, we could be okay here. So Tefri Tribal wasn't the hidden tier one deck that we expected. It was not. It was not. It's feel, it feels like it's coming up a touch short. They do, they do, in fact, have five cards in hand. You're not wrong, Burgle. We're, we're hoping for a lot here, okay? Oh, gosh, they're just spinning their wheels, chat. They're spinning their wheels. 
Maybe they're really unlucky, chat. Maybe they're really unlucky. For the children at home, that was not a dab. When you're an old person, sometimes you have to sneeze. Is there a physical trash can you could throw tickets in instead of playing this deck for 45 minutes? Asking the real questions. Yep. We might actually have a chance. Just bald or old? Why do I have to pick between one or the other on that? Just bald or old? Oh, you kids. You don't choose between bald and old. You just get to be both. Uh, you can watch me play the bridge, bridge vine deck on my YouTube channel. There's also a page on my website dedicated to just the bridge vine deck. I think the deck's really sweet. Oh gosh, chat, they're putting fake counters on things. What's the dab command? Oh yeah, I know that dab command. That's great. That's great. That dab. I forget how wonderful that command is. You should click. You should click on the image link for the dab. It's it's safe for work. The image link is safe for work. It's just funny. It's just good, clean, honest fun, chat. It's not like the pornography that the kids today are after. Just actually good, clean fun. I'm going to counter this because I can't counter an Ulamog. Looks a lot like pornography. We need to have a talk about your pornography habits if that link looks a lot like pornography. We need to have a discussion, okay? Have a, have a chat, shall we? Don't kink shame me. Would like to tuck this one. The problem with this deck might not be the hollowed fountains. Who are you to judge what our problems are? Oh no! Oh no, chat! Bye, friends. All right, good news. We've got, we've got Path to Exiles in our deck still, chat. We've got, we've got four of them. I'm saying you just gotta believe. So like when I concede a lot of matches early to try and people are always like, why'd you concede? You weren't dead yet. This is a great example of a game where 
we're basically dead, but we're going to keep playing anyways for whatever reason. I'm going to get my chump block on here. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 Watch us go on and win this game. <clears throat> this is really weird. Our Tron opponent is, like, really unlucky here. I didn't colonnade attack because I wanted to click on draw step and be able to um, spell queller. Okie doke. They boarded out their wind kind to give us a fair shake. I mean, that seems only reasonable, right? Just crank my tireless tracker to an 11 here. Uh, this is game two. We are down a game. I think, I think we're going to win this game, actually. Deadly, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime support. I do appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Yeah, they should be drawing O-Stone this turn. I didn't crack the clue there because I want to spell Queller this O-Stone. Oh, they shuffled from Path. You're right, they did shuffle from path. Doesn't doesn't matter, still had the O-Stone. <laughs> Rewarded. Listen, chat, you just gotta get on like the next next level, like me. You just gotta gotta get on my level. I knew that I have you ever met a Tron player before, chat? They were gonna draw it, okay? It is a different art O-Stone than we talked. That is correct. Are you dead, Tron player? I hope you're dead. Oh, yeah. Found your YouTube channel first. And after the incident with the glitch in Moto, after regarding Angel's Grace. Interesting. Well, thanks for the support. I appreciate it. Welcome. My opponent with exact damage proceeds to cuss and swear about the matchup and slam things in the table. He then slams the turn of the table, flipping the top of the table. How would you have responded? I'd have called a judge. And they likely would have gotten DQ'd for unsportsmanlike, an unsportsmanlike major. Here's, here's, here's the easiest way to tell if you should call a judge. If you think there's even a smallest chance you should get a judge involved, you should definitely get a judge involved. The judges are there to help. Isn't aggressive file all, all filed under unsportsmanlike? Or do we have a separate classification for that? Interesting. Okay, learn something new every day. Perfect. Oh, they're all unsportsmanlike in true fraction. Sure, yeah, good. So um, I'm very, I, like, I thought they were all unsportsmanlike, but I definitely didn't remember enough to say for sure. I think I'm just supposed to hold up negate here. We play lantern control at the next SCG event for five grand. 
Yeah, five grand's probably worth the weekend. It can't come through PayPal, though, because there's no way I'm taking that amount of money doing that and then getting a charge back on it. All right. Is anybody else sad that we're going to have to play Heartless Summoning next? It looks like we're going to lose. No, that was a snort mute. I had some mucus in my nose. Do you accept traveler's checks? Yeah. Why do the good decks die young? All right. Uh, as, as is oft the case with decks that Justin submits, I want everybody to pay attention to the wrap-up segment for Tef Free Tribal. In your deck editor over here, if you right-click, the second option here is delete. And if you click on that, it's going to offer you this confirmation dialog box, and you're click the left button. And then, and then you'll have made the deck perfect. All right, what are we doing next? We're gonna play, we're gonna play some blue, black, uh, heartless summoning next year.